To achieve the best performance, always try to be positioned above the vehicle onto which you are loading. The truck should be positioned in such a way that the shortest possible slowing angle is being used. For increased efficiency, it is important to have the boom at a low lifting height and to use a short slew. Lower the undercarriage supports to achieve the best possible stability. Raise the filled bucket into the air where you would like to empty it. This will assist the truck driver in finding the position faster. Use the horn to stop him. Dump the first bucket close to the truck body. If you dump the bucket too high, the material will hit the body hard and cause considerable wear. It could also be very uncomfortable for the driver in the truck. For maximum efficiency, fill the bucket with the highest possible fill factor. If too much stress is applied when filling, material could be lost and the level of efficiency will be lower. You would also be consuming fuel unnecessarily. Dump the second bucket so that the material covers the bottom of the body. This will act as a cushioning material for when the third bucket is dumped. The dumping can now proceed at a faster rate. When it is necessary to produce many tons per hour and fuel consumption is not an issue, you should turn the revolution switch to maximum revolutions. This setting will give the highest production, but due to the slightly higher fuel consumption, not the most efficient productivity. Most wheeled excavators are not placed on a production site loading maximum tonnage per hour. It is strongly recommended that you reduce the number of engine revolutions in order to save fuel. As a consequence, only a certain percentage of performance will be lost compared to the full revolution position. The material you see being loaded here is not particularly hard, but when digging in virgin material, extra digging force might be required. In order to kick in the power boost, press the left-hand switch on the right-hand joystick. This will be indicated on the display. You now have extra high hydraulic pressure for a period of nine seconds, enabling you to fill the bucket faster. Press the button before entering the material, because if the bucket gets stuck, pressing the power boost doesn't usually help. Make sure that the teeth are not worn out. All too often, operators can be found using teeth that are far too long and blunt. Worn out teeth will cost you more in fuel and will result in decreased production as well. This operator has attached sharp teeth. The long lasting and self sharpening Volvo tooth system is strongly recommended. And of course, the same applies for the side cutters. With the correct wear parts, the bucket will cut into the material like a knife through butter. Fill the hauler body as much as possible. Running with 90% filled bodies is not efficient. Fill the next bucket and raise it into the air to be ready for the next truck, or prepare the ground so that the truck can get in closer to you.